currently on the start line. As you can see, there is next to no breeze. Harry is just giving us a quick look around and um, confirming there is no breeze. No breeze. No breeze. Here's our course. We're starting around about here, just off of Cows. And then we are zipping, zipping, I used to term loosely, all the way out through the Hearst Needles again, Hearst Narrows, up to this boy, round to starboard, and then back to here. And then we're going to go and have a few beers in here. Now, I think the race officer's being a bit optimistic with that course personally, but we'll see how we go. How's it going with the kite, mate? It's not filling for some reason. This is the way that we do a figure of eight rather than just coiling the halyard so that we get a, a good drop later on. Just lob that down there. So that's us started. We absolutely nailed it. Boss straight across the line, bang on the money. Clear start, we're in front of everyone. So in these light airs, the autopilot could actually do a damn better job at steering than me. It's got much more focus. So I'm just gonna sit down a lured, keep the heel on so the sheets are gonna, so the kite's gonna feel. Just easing the pole forward there a touch. Keep the weight to the lured and then keep her trucking. We've got, uh, yeah, 20 miles of this. Gonna start to eat the pole back a little bit more. Definitely a little bit more breeze back there. The boats behind are going definitely quicker. Gonna eat the pole forward again in this for the minute. Okay, a little bit more breeze, just bringing the pole back. It looks like the breeze is running out ahead. So that was a pretty tactical decision. We had to let these guys go. They are lighter and uh, considerably faster. They've done a nice job of working up on us up there. Um, so now they've gone, we'll try and sail our own course. So we managed to get back through these guys. They didn't spot a little bit of a wind shift and a little bit more pressure off to their right. Um, so we've managed to just eke above them nice and stealth-like and um, we'll wait for them to do it to us in a minute, eh? We are quite stocked up on water and we need it today. So we're about halfway up the first leg, uh, just under six miles left to go. Caught in a little bit of a quandary. Do we go low so we don't have to jibe or do we stick high for the pace? I don't know what I think. You'll find out what we think when we've done it. Kind of thinking that the mainland will warm up first. If there's going to be a sea breeze, it will develop over there first. But it's a ballsy move going over there. I think one of the big things is, is to not do anything stupid. Yeah. Like stay with the fleet. Drop the poles. We need the heads all up. Let's get the kite down. Get, bundle it down the hatch. Do you know what, mate? I'm sorry. I think... It might be kite up. Let's just let us settle for a minute. Yeah, let's go kite. Sorry, man. On the, yeah, port pole. So that was a frantic five seconds. Uh, the breeze just flipped 180. Uh, all of a sudden, we had to drive the kite in a massive panic, and then we dropped the kite to put the headsail up, and then the wind spun as we were doing that. So... That has just completely shaken up the entire race. I think we've positioned ourselves all right. We were sort of in the middle, not left, not right, middle of the road. Oh, anyone that remembers the young ones will get that. Get ready for a kite drop, nice and slow. Let's let the guy go to start with, leave the halyard where it is. Okay, gently the halyard now. Pole down on the left. Keep going. Okay, get the boat going, mate. The sea breeze is fully developed now. We're into what we thought was going to happen again. This is playing out kind of as we thought. Uh, might have to go in a minute, might have a starboard tucker. No, we got away with that one. I want to tack the buoy in shallow water here. It's going to get on the breeze. Okay, that's us. Are you ready about? Yeah. Um, just flick the, flick the left hand travel line off for me. Okay, tacking now. Keep your weight to the left. 
go to the left now. I've got this. Take your way down there. Don't go crazy on that. degrees high of the mark at the moment. So we are just under half a mile away from the mark. It is taking us about three hours to get here. Um, we are currently holding a little bit high, five, ten degrees of the mark, just in case the wind craps out a little bit before we get there. We are not quite sure if we're going to be able to hoist, but I think we might. So Harry's just setting up with a spinnaker on port so we can hoist nice and easily if we have to. So in true mist style, we are 148 meters from the mark and the wind has shut off. Jai. I don't know if I was recording then or not. I don't entirely think I was, but we just spent about half an hour trying to get around the same mark. Saw it about 27 times. We're around it now, so we've just got to go back to the Hurst. Uh, I think more than likely a bit of a jibe. Uh, and then into the finish line. I'll plug that into the old machine in a minute and see how long it's going to take us. We have got tide with us again now. We've just managed to get through. That last little issue was getting against a build, the start of a flooding tide. And now we've got that flooding tide, hopefully, to carry us home. We started here in Cows. And we've come along here, all the way down here, through Hurst down to this little mark here and we're about here at the moment we've got to come up here and finish it's a feeling i'll never quite get used to looking back there and not seeing me bit weird give us your thoughts on how we're doing harry i think we're doing quite well i think now that we're with tide life should be dreamy this is us going through the hearst Quick as we've been all day, 5.2 knots. Hang on, let's get a bit of main trim on. Uh, we're now on the run for home. We're 30 degrees higher than the mark at the moment, my bad. Uh, three miles away. So, uh, I don't know, five knots boat speed, three miles away, I don't know, what's that? Just 40 minutes? I don't know. We're getting a bit pressed here at the moment, actually, with this breeze. It's quiet on the bow. Um, so we might just have to have a think about whether we want this kite up or a headsail up. But we'll see what happens. So it's been an enjoyable day so far. I've got no idea what time it is, two-ish maybe. Um, but we are still second in class after trying to get round that horrible mark round in. The lead boat got away from us considerably. But uh, all the other guys, I think, are pretty far behind. We have Uno Milo. I don't know what language I'm talking now, but one mile, everyone. One mile to go until we finish. Point four, point three, point two. Down there, we've got the finishing mark. Over there, we have the committee boat. We have 63 meters, according to GPS. Yes! Thank you! Thank you very much! Best race ever, man. Nice one. We've got to get this down. I cannot tell you how bloody happy I am with that result. That was well sailed. 